Hi, this is Sahana. Our today's topic is view component. In this session, we are going to learn what is view component, when to use it, and difference between view component and partial views. And we are going to see how to create view component, how to invoke it, then we are going to see an example how to use view component by creating dynamic navigation menu. If you want to build efficient and complicated application, then you should know this feature. To help you understand what is view component and how to use it, I have opened MSDN document. This document has explained view components fantastically. Later, we are going to implement this feature in our application. This says, View components are similar to partial views, but they are much more powerful. If you remember, sometimes back we had a session on partial views. If you want to know partial views, you can visit ASP.NET Core MVC playlist. You will get that video. And don't worry, I'm going to show you practical example. I'm referring to this document just to explain you the theoretical concepts. Next important thing that we should know about view components is what makes view component different from partial view? See. View component is almost same as partial view, but it must be used wherever rendering logic is too complex for a partial view. And it also beautifully documents few of the use cases where we can go for view components. It says like we can use view components to implement dynamic navigation menus, then tag clouds, sign in panels, shopping cart and and few other cases. In our session, I am going to show you how to implement dynamic navigation menus using view component. Right now in our application, when I click on tutorial, we are displaying all the available tutorials with the option to edit, delete and add new tutorial. But with the help of view components, we are going to improvise our application. When I click on tutorial, I want to display dynamic navigation menu, which will display all the available tutorials. Let's see how to do that. If you want to go through the code, you can check the description. There you will get a link. First step is to create view component. Typically view component consists of a class that is we call that as view component class and a view file. View component class will have necessary logic to work on the data and view file represents that data. First step to create view components is to create a folder by name view components. I will right click on solution add new folder I will say view components to that folder we are going to add view component class right click on the folder add class and name it as tutorial menu view component here one thing to notice is here we have to suffix with view component the way we do for controllers it's not that you have to create view component class inside this folder you can create it anywhere now derive from view component class now import the namespace control dot you will get a suggestion import this namespace microsoft.asp.net core.mvc next step is to write a logic we are going to write a logic inside special method called invoke we are getting error because we are not returning anything we will return view now it is fixed what we have written is a synchronous method if you want to implement a synchronous functionality you have one more method by name invoke async I'll comment this one. If you want to, if you want to go for asynchronous method, then you can use this invoke async. This time, result instead of returning just I view component result, it should be async task. I will go for synchronous version, and I will comment this one. If you are following the tutorial series, you might know that we have stored all our tutorial details in database. Now we have to fetch data from database. If you are watching this for the first time, then quick information for you. We have implemented repository pattern in our application and here you have folder by name repository. Here we have iTutorial repository interface. Next, we have tutorial repository which implements this interface. Here you can find all the necessary methods. I'm going to make use of this get all tutorial method which will fetch all the tutorial names. But how to call this method? As you all know, ASP.NET Core framework supports dependency injection. One good thing about view components is view components support dependency injection. To get the instance of tutorial repository, I'm going to make use of dependency injection and I'll get the instance of tutorial repository. 
to get the instance using dependency injection first i will declare private variable next i will create a constructor keyboard shortcut is type ctor double tab you will get the constructor next i will pass i tutorial repository interface as parameter to this constructor next step is to simply assign this parameter to this private field now using this instance we can call get all tutorial method now we have called this get all tutorial method i'm simply using this link just to order the result we are done with creating view component class next step is to create view file first step to create view file is to create a folder by name components as this is a view here we have views folder if you expand this folder you will get a folder by name shade we are going to create folder inside this shade folder right click add folder components next step is to create a folder whose name matches view components name again right click add folder in our case view components name is tutorial menu now we have to add a view file right click add select view select razor view empty click on add you have to name it as default there is a reason behind this name i'll tell you click on add it has added default.cshtml we have named it as default the reason is if the view component method doesn't pass the name of the view then default is used for the view name next step is to design the view before designing this view i'll just quickly show you where am i going to call this view i have opened layout file in this section we have design navigation bar instead of this link i want to display drop down with the help of view component thus i'll replace this code with this code this code will help me to display drop down you will get this code in my github repo if you look at the top statement here i am binding the model and here inside this for each loop i am displaying the name of the tutorial so that my drop down can list all the tutorial names our view component is ready to be called how to invoke the view component let's see that now i'll show you how to call view component i will remove this line I no longer need this one and i will call view component to call view component you should write at await then component dot invoke async here we should pass the view component name let's save the changes and let's see if the changes are working or not i will run the application we are getting exception object reference not set to an instance of an object this error is very much expected the reason is if you look at the view component here we are returning the view and this view is working with the model wherein we are not wherein we are not passing the model data at all we should fix this error how are we going to fix this one here we have model data we should pass this to the view let's save and run it again after fixing that error now we have a drop down if i click on these tutorials nothing will happen the reason is we haven't implemented that functionality here is a quick summary of today's session i hope the things are clear Thanks for all the subscribers your support means a lot see you soon in the next video thank you